Tattooing is an ancient art form which has been practiced in virtually every culture for thousands of years. In Massachusetts, however, tattooing was illegal from the early 1960s to the turn of the 21st century. That changed in 2000 when Superior Court Judge Barbara Rouse declared a 1962 state tattooing ban unconstitutional, writing in her decision, Tattooing is the sixth fastest growing retail industry in the country and is believed to be the most commonly purchased form of original artwork in the United States. I'm Matt Murray. I'm Ryan Murray. We are tattoo artists and illustrators that specialize in black and gray illustration and tattoo work. Identical twins and roommates, Matt and Ryan Murray, are also co-owners of Black Veil Tattoo in Salem. Since we were children, we've always been into art, so we've always been drawing together since we were very little. That love for art grew over time and eventually turned into a twin talent for tattooing. It wasn't really planned, but I think it worked out very well because our styles, our artistry before tattooing was very much in tune with one another. At a young age, we were actually both really inspired by Tim Burton. We have this way of describing our work as black and gray for the grim hearted. Their tattoos are almost exclusively void of color, the subjects inspired by their surroundings. There's like a lot of aspects of nature and then New England architecture, a lot of influence from the city of Salem. We both love animals. Like Matt and Ryan, Sam Copans shares a love for wildlife and the outdoors. I actually saw some of their printed art, which was really interesting, and then found out that they were tattoo artists. So I contacted them through email, told them about my idea, they liked the idea, and I ended up coming here. The sleeve that I'm working on started it probably maybe three years ago. We've been doing a piece by piece, and it's all nature inspired. So in the past we did a wolf, we did a crow, and then today we're going to be adding a great horned owl. I really like the negative space that Ryan used to create the waterfall. I think that is just a brilliant piece of art. It's a unique style with striking similarities only to each other, but the brothers say they can still tell whose art is whose. Our line work and shading is just slightly different. The way I draw leaves is different from how Ryan does it, so I feel like that's like one thing you can like tell us apart, like our botanics, you know, like how we just have different styles of jarring certain things. Who better then to collaborate with or get a second opinion? We can help each other, ask each other questions. We'll bounce ideas off of each other all the time. Ryan and Matt's artworks aren't limited to the human canvas. They also sell their illustrations out of the front half of the studio, the shop of drear and wonder. The city is a tourist destination, so I think there are a lot of people who are coming here and then they just stumble upon the shop and they pop in and then they realize that we are tattoo artists. The similarities don't stop there. They also share a few tattoos. We both have webs here. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. They look slightly different though. Mm -hmm. They're not like identical. So we did this to celebrate our opening. We got the V for Veil on our hands. A permanent tribute to their shared passion and profession. I get to do this every day. I get to do it with my best friend. And yeah, we've always been best awesome. friends and always together. So it's great that we can like be so close and work on projects together and, and you know create together. It's a good feeling. We're lucky for it. They are truly twinning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. And in the two decades since the ban was overturned, the tattoo industry has really taken off in Massachusetts. Right. There was a time people had to cross the border into New Hampshire or to Maine to get a tattoo if they wanted one. Now there are licensed establishments all over Massachusetts. In Boston alone, there are 20 licensed body art establishments and 75 different practitioners of the art. So it is catching on and spreading all over Massachusetts. Okay. Up next, the final piece of the puzzle.